Welcome back guys to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach us how to design a church flyer without wasting our time. Let's get that started. But before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, first of all, you go to create new, click on your create new, click it, then change the size 5 inches by 5 inches resolution 400 and you click on your create then already download the this thing the background you are going to use so i'll be dropping the link for it i'll be dropping the link these are the works you are going to be using so first of all you pick this you bring it drag it down increase it a little bit can increase it more like this you eat okay so we are going to be working on this working on it first of all go to your filter your blur motion blur yes distance is 250 250 then the angle 40 then you eat okay like this hmm. So next thing you are going to click click control J uh, sorry control T when you hit your control T you right click then you convert it to vertical yeah like this the reason why we are doing this is just follow we can see what we have here like this so the next thing you are going to do you're going to go to I'm going to go to filter camera row. Open your camera row. first of all you increase the contrast contrast you reduce the highlight a little bit reduce the shadow a little bit reduce the black then you increase the texture and the clarity like this then the next thing you're going to do we're going to come to details sharpening increase the sharpening then you hit ok before after so you can see and please i would like us to stick to the end because i have a a, a an expert I'm going to give us concerning that so the next thing you're going to come pick this crowd why is it not? Ha, ah, what's wrong? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong. Let me open. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm going to drop this yeah i'll close this place so the next thing you are going to do you're going to increase it a little bit like this then we are going to right click flip to vertical flip, sorry horizontal so we're going to have something like this it okay and the next thing you are going to add our layer marks to it then you click b on your keyboard or you search for your brush to when you click it you make sure the f uh, the color is black like this the color is black if yours is white or if it's another color you can just click on this place it automatically change to white then you flip it to black then you click on this place this is the easy way to take away some parts so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to click on the image right here and change it to soft light you can check any of the distin any of the blending distin the one that works for you but i think i prefer the soft light to any of them so this is it you are done with the background so the next thing you are going to do is the text we are not done with the background sorry like i said earlier i'm going to be dropping and eat a it for us consigning uh, how to make our design more beautiful 
so these are the text i already and um, i've already edit and uh, type it out so i'm going to be pick them picking them one by one and be pasting them ctrl c come to here click your test bar and paste ctrl c it's okay i'm using blank bank as my font bank oh what is this so that's the font sorry i can't pronounce it that's the font and i'm going to be using going to be using oh sorry shift it up a little bit and use white color for it white color for it like this we can all see how it goes some will be saying is kind of small no it's not small the text is okay like this the spacing is 100 no it's not be 100 reason being that i don't want my design to go outside this so i use 80 spacing let's see it is let's use 60 let's use 40 Oh, sorry let's use 20 <coughs> let's use 10 let's use 0 yes you can see I 0 is ok let me centralize it click sorry this is it I just want to get the, the middle of this okay really getting this one so the next thing we are going to do i need to shift this background a little bit to the side yes like this so the next thing you are going to do you come to your word pick your text ctrl c go back to your photoshop you click t t later t on your keyboard then you paste it so these are these the team or the tag of the program power energy that's the tag so you break the text into two the spacing in bit the spacing should be minus 75 then you increase it like this increase it like this to the extra end you can see how i increase them and you hit OK. Sorry to delete this space in here. So this is it. So the effect you are going to add on this text, you come to our blending option. You first of all come to our tongue Is it you pick white? Hit OK. Increase the opacity to 70. And you increase the size to 25 you can if you still want to work on it you can still play with this one play with any one that works nice for you you can see when we are doing i will still come back to this this other one but i think this one work more better for us let me see no it's too much let's use the normal one normal and if i want if i like i can still increase it a little bit like this but let's go with this it's okay yeah that's it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to use a symbol to show that oh, i don't know why this thing is not moving but i'm going to open it open this one open this symbol shows energy so i'm going to reduce it bring it here reduce like this I'm going to be reducing it I'll increase it a little bit something like this. this is a png file this is a png file so you can work on it so the next thing we are going to do we are going to be what blending option first of all we go to gradient layer when we talk about energy colors master too so 
let's see some of this customized color preset in inside inside is already so i think i'll go with this let's see let me inverse yeah is okay let me use 90 let's see how it goes yeah this is okay click ok so the next thing you are going to do you are going to sorry you're going you're still going to work on it click next thing you are going to come is out angle the same thing but now we are going to be changing the color to light yellow something like white you can see then this is where we are going to add our effects now we are going to be using some this you can see how it is so you can increase the size so let's use the size like this then opacity let's increase the opacity a little bit you can still add more of it if you feel like adding maybe you can increase the range you can see the range in which it goes you can see how it goes you can see how the effect let me zoom let me zoom so when you in reduce you can see when you increase you can see how it goes so you can just work just play around it create the opacity it okay yeah this is it you can see how beautiful our text is it's always not time let's continue come back to your this and you pick your time ctrl c like if you can see i'm not using much um what's the name it t i'm not using the uh, much font i'm still using just only one font please click t then you select and go back to this place what's the font size i'll, I'll, st I'll increase it to 6.5 the size you can see 6.5 that's the size then you come back to your text again you pick the what the edit ctrl c hit t on your keyboard ctrl v like this then you align the both of them let them align together then you shift it down a little bit yeah you can see how how beautiful our work is will soon be done so the next thing is our address ctrl c hit t and paste is it so we are going to be breaking our text into but before that we are going to be reducing this into six to six so the spacing in between the spacing between the text are going to minus 100 so this is it first thing we we'll break let me reduce this oh, sorry for that let me short in this opposite then you click on enter first of all align to left hand side bring it here then the next thing is okay opposite should be down like this beside St. John and bar or to go in a state then you bring down your bin state here I can I think this dummy can be shortened yeah something like this you can see how arrange but the spacing is two clones so we are going to be reducing it to six no let's use five yeah five is okay so we are going to be duplicating the text then control you edit it then use left line left right alignment text like this it's okay then you shift it we are using the next thing we are going to be doing is our our slogan it 
control V so we are going to be breaking the text we invade families with fire like this is good so we're going to work in there there are some spacing in between so I'm deleting them so that's it like I promised the other time I'll be showing us something let's align it up let's shift it down a little bit like the way I promise, I promise the other time that will be showing us something. So before that, you can just break this into two. Break it into two. Then the spacing in between. You can just put auto. Then increase it a little bit. Let it be. Because it's the name of the church. So like the 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 gift or the cheat type say i'm going to give us is this first of all let's let me okay before that let me just align all my text i'm going to group everything with the team just to make sure our our this thing is fine our, our layouts are beautiful then this tag and um, venue venue then this can this can stay alone then this is the background i'm say i want to add so you select this your background then you come to your filter you go to your noise you add noise when you add noise to it it give it one sweet stuff like that then this is it then the next thing I'm, i want to add some effects to it so to add effects to it you create a new layout then you click b on your distance on your keyboard then you increase or you can reduce it then you pick this color yellow then you eat it bam like this then the next thing we are going to come, we are going to come and change it to screen. Like this. Or you can use. I don't like this color. Sorry. Let's pick a random color. Or let's pick from here. Blue color. B. It. I know you will not see it very well, but it's there. This is it. Then you create another one. You will use red color. You can create as many as you can. You post as many as you want, but make sure it's not too much. And the colors are not too much. So like this. okay so the next thing you are going to do is you click ctrl shift alt e press everything together then you come to your camera roll then you adjust them increase your contrast increase your texture then reduce your black come to details increase the sharpness a little bit then effect you this and you hit ok this is it thanks for watching if you know you like what you're saying you can give me my channel a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you and god bless you